Hey there, everybody. I'm Gary, and this is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Thank you so much for tuning in. I always greatly appreciate it. Before I get going with Vinyl Finds, I wanted to say a quick thank you to my sister-in-law, Debbie, who made me this super cool coaster. This is like, I don't know, granite or something. Uh, it's got the neat little rubber stops on the bottom, got the channel name. Very cool place to uh, set my beer or whatever beverage I have at the time, so thank you very much, Debbie. Uh, so anyway, I know a lot of you are probably getting sick of these videos where people are talking about the whole big party that we had out in Massachusetts at MGK Boston, me visiting Josh, all that stuff. This isn't really about that. This is my trip to purchase street records. Uh, Josh took me there on, I really hadn't been off the plane that long. I think before we went there, we got a bite to eat and headed out to Purchase Street Records, which is in New Bedford, Massachusetts. It's in a really cool spot. It's right by some water. I think the place is an island. Uh, there were ships out there to look at. I really love that. I really dug it. So anyway, uh, you know, we've all heard Josh from the flip side talk about Purchase Street Records. Finally got to go there. I met Roger, talked to him. Very nice guy. Uh, it's got a really cool store there. Uh, big selection, especially if you're into heavy metal. Got a huge selection of heavy metal. But he's got some new wave, got some punk, uh, you know, a little bit, of, a little bit of blues mixed in there. Some soundtracks, different things. Anyway, like I said, met him. Really cool guy. Uh, gave me this shirt, as you've probably seen some of the other Vinyl community members with this cool looking shirt. Got the giant shark. It says Purchase Street Records. I'm scared to death of sharks, but uh, I love the shirt. I think it's very badass looking. Uh, got this. Class it up when I am drinking cheap beer, which I happen to be doing right now. Cheers, Vinyl community. So, I'd already talked to Roger for a little bit. Now we're going back. We're looking at records. I'm picking out some stuff, right? Uh, I go up there. I've, I've got my little stack of records. We actually went to Purchase Street Records twice. I went there. Once Jeff Witcher came, we went back again, and I picked up a couple things. But anyway, I, I, I go there, and I saw this on the counter. This is the band that Roger has called All Sinners. This is their live album that, as you can see, they recorded at the Whiskey A Go-Go down in Hollywood, out in Hollywood, not down in Hollywood, out in Hollywood. They were opening up for LA Guns. This was on New Year's Eve. I hadn't seen this yet. I remember Josh talking about it. I assumed they, they were all gone. So I walk up to the counter and there's this sitting there and I'm like, oh, I said, I didn't know you had that. I want to get that album. So I go, well, I'm going to go put one of these back. And he's like, what? And he's like, now just go ahead, bring it up. He said, you can have the album. It's yours. I'm like, what? You know, I said, you don't have to do that, man. I'll, you know, I just want to put something back. Cause you know, if you've seen Alex at Beer and Vinyl imitate me, I'm cheap, right? So uh, anyway, he said, I could just have this album. And I guess he gave it to a few other vinyl community members too. So how cool was that? Uh, I like this album. I like it cause it sounds live. It is. It's just like, you know, there's no touch ups on it or anything. I don't want it to sound just like the studio. Uh, version because I've got the CD and it has most of these songs uh, on there. There's uh, a couple of them that are different that are not on the album. that are just on this live album and they, you know, they sound live. I don't want it to sound just like the studio record. There's no sense of having a live album if that's the way it is. So I've already played this record twice actually and uh, I dig it. So thank you, Roger. Very cool. Check out his band, All Sinners. Next up, uh, I, I did grab one CD. He actually had a really big CD collection, too, which is really cool. And, you know, I could have spent more time doing that. I only picked up one. I got Tori Amos, Strange Little Girls. See, it's not all heavy metal that he has. He's got other stuff. I didn't have this one, so this was, you know, really cheap. His, his CDs were on sale. I, I should have probably gotten more. Anyway, next up from the $2 bin, how about this? The Iron Man... The musical by Pete Townsend. Now, I had this on cassette, and, uh, you know, this is kind of hit and miss, but this was two bucks. So, I, you know, I'm like, I, I got to pick this up. The jacket's in good shape. 
the record, I just need to give it a little love. I got to clean it up a little bit, but it, it's fine. Uh, it, it'll be in perfect shape. Now this, an interesting thing on here, which I would have, you know, well, the Who were on a song on that. Uh, obviously not the full Who, uh, no Keith Moon. But uh, they, they, they sing two songs and the rest are various people. Pete sings some, Nina Simone's on here, other people. But John Lee Hooker is on here. He's on a song called I Eat Heavy Metal. That, uh, that's one that Pete wrote and pretty cool song. I would have bought it just for that song. I mean, for two bucks. Now, here's something I wouldn't normally do. Uh, so I picked up, these are both $2 records. I picked these up. They don't have the jacket. They just have the sleeves. It's uh, a Queen Greatest Hits. It's like their official one. This is a double record set. So this cost me $4 for both, both of them. Let me show you real quick um, what that looks like. That's like brand new, right? I, you know, I, I'm like, well, I wasn't looking for, you know, a Queen Greatest Hits. I've got uh, probably most of this stuff, but this is a, a nice little collection. This would be perfect, like, if I'm listening with my wife. We want to listen to some Queen. Uh, and this is, you know, is 180 gram. It's in great shape. Uh, you can see some of the songs are not necessarily the ones you would think of. This is kind of like the Greatest Hits that I had a long time ago on cassette with more songs added to it. So I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, you know, I'll put them in, in something else, some other jacket or something, but for two bucks, I mean, I couldn't pass that up. Same way with this. Deborah Harry, I Want That Man. This is a 12-inch single. It's got the regular version. It's got an instrumental version of it. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a song called Bike Boy. This is from the album Deaf, Dumb and Blonde, and then it's got some remixed version, but perfect shape, two bucks. Couldn't pass it up. Okay, the next. Now, some of these records here are ones you're saying, well, these are not hard to find records, but I thought they were priced good. I had a, few, a couple records that I, I needed to get into my collection or back into my collection. I couldn't take not having them anymore. And one of them was this. I had already told myself, I have to rebuy metal. Okay, this is the remastered version. I already had this, but like an idiot, if you, I told on my channel one time, how I doing some work. I won't go into the story, but I got a big scratch right on the side with echoes for God's sakes. So I bought this. I thought it was pretty reasonably priced. Uh, had to have it. Had to have it. That's all there was to that. Here's another one I needed on vinyl in my collection. The Doors debut. I've got it on CD, but to me, this is an album that needs to be played on vinyl. And this is the mono version. So I thought, well, that's that just doubles it up. And this was on sale. Okay. This thing was probably about half uh, of what you would normally expect to pay for this record. So yeah, I wasn't really looking for it, but yet I, when I saw it, I had to have it. That's got to be in my collection. I keep forgetting to get that back in. Same way with this next one, the debut for Blondie. This was a sealed record. This was, you know, not used or anything. So this is perfect condition. There's the back of it. Uh, I was watching Mike, PC31, the vinyl policeman. He had recently got this album, and he was talking about how he's kind of disappointed because he expected it to be a little more raw, a little more punk since it was their debut. I knew for the most part that it wasn't. I kind of, you know, I'm familiar with pretty much all the songs on here. This is the only one on vinyl that I didn't have out, out of that original group of uh, the Blondie records. And I'm like, why don't I have that? It's got the song, You Look Good in Blue, one of my favorite Blondie songs. If you're not familiar with that song, pick it up. I love it. I already played part of that when I was at Josh's. Okay, these next two, really cool. Femme Fatale. Never had this one. I saw this on vinyl. This is, you know, one of the first ones I saw when I was walking around in there. And it's got, you know me, I had to have this. You got Lorraine Lewis in there. Late 80s. Uh... The, uh, Lorraine was just, she's been the singer of Vixen for a few years now, just recently out of the band. She has been replaced, but uh, this is, so this is used, but it is mint. I mean, you know, near mint, whatever you want to call it. There's not a scratch. There's nothing wrong with it. Looks like somebody never played it. I, this was a no brainer for me. I was very happy to find that because uh, I rarely ever do. And you know what? I have found it before. 
like a used copy and it wasn't in this as good a shape and it was priced the same as this was now and this is mint my final one here to show you one of my favorite live albums of all time all the world's a stage by rush love this one uh finally got this on vinyl i had this on eight track before i've got it on cd but i gotta have this on vinyl this is a double record set this is just rush kicking ass or touring off their first four albums uh and uh, 2112 is is the tour that they're doing they're up in canada when they do this i had actually found a used copy of this one time uh i looked at the one record i'm like yeah it's okay shape so took it home the second record was not in there both are in here uh, I checked, but look, I mean, that's, that's mint. I don't, you know, this is obviously a reissue. I haven't looked that up, but uh, this is, there's nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with that record. So very happy to get one of my favorite live albums of all time by the amazing Rush. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, Josh, for taking me. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, super happy. Definitely check out Purchase Street Records in New Bedford, Massachusetts, by the water. So until the next time, folks, me and the All Sinners will see you down the road.